Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Albion Online. It is by a Sandbox Interactive, and I am part of the closed beta. The developer was kind enough to send a key my way so I could get in here and showcase the game to all of you. So, what is Albion Online? Well, it is a top-down game very similar to something along the lines of Diablo, or maybe if you want to just think of character control and everything else, and there's a reason I'm mentioning this, something along the lines of Dota 2. And why am I mentioning Dota 2 and Diablo? They're kind of the, they're, they're similar in style, but they're completely different games. Well, the reason is there is a 5v5 matchup in a guild battle that you can have. So you can have a giant guild, an enemy can have a giant guild. There's territory that you can take over, and then you have a 5-on-5 five -five matchup. Similar to what you would have in Dota-like games, uh, MOBAs, ARTS, whatever you want to call them. So it's similar in that regard, and that's how you control your character and everything else. So if you've played anything like that, you should be pretty familiar with that whole scenario. But it's an MMO, guys. It's an actual MMO. And it... Oh, I'm excited. I just want to hop in and get playing, guys. Now, I gotta say, character creation, I created a character yesterday, uh, before the game was actually available, just to kind of see what it was like. Uh, it's lacking a little bit in uh, character creation polish, but that's okay. I'm sure the game is still going to be a blast, and I'm going to enjoy it no matter what. So, you can create a male or a female character. Totally up to you, and yes, you apparently do start in your underwear. And that is just fine. Well, I'm a man, last I checked, and I'm going to stay with being a man. And there we go. We're going to go next. We're going to change our skin color to pasty pale, as we often do. And we're going to go with, I think the, the first hairstyle there is going to be okay with me. I'm going to go with a little bit of a darker red. And there we go. And no, guys, I do not have red hair in real life. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I like red-haired characters. I, I married a, a redhead, so maybe that has something to do with it. And it wasn't a man, so put your mind at ease, folks. If your mind was ever unat ease. Alright, we of course want black underwear to hide our poop stains, and I don't like the butt flap thing. Yeah, there we go. We can go with a weird man speedo. I don't... Uh, I'm not really sure about the... I don't know about the weird man... Uh, hmm. Alright, we'll go with the man speedo with the butt flap and the crotch flap. I think that's totally fine. Alright, there we go. So, there we have it. We are going to, of course, be Bumpy McSquiggums because that is who we are and we want to represent. So, let's create it. And we are a standard character. We are on Middle Beach and we're about to enter the world. So, there is a lot of PvP in this game. There's a lot of PvE. The areas are broken up into different colors so you know what's going to happen when you go into the different areas. There's a ton about this game, guys, that I learned just from reading what I read. Okay, apparently that was a really, really fast loading screen. Alright, folks, let's get started. I'm not sure what to do exactly yet. I did read the beginner's guide that came with uh, the code, so I have a little bit of an idea, but I'm not sure yet. I don't know how any of this plays out or works exactly, but we'll figure it out in just a moment. So here I am, Bumpy McSquiggums. I look naked and ashamed, and it's a scary, scary thing. We're also near a guy named Slyke, which is totally fine, I guess. Hi, Slyke. How's it going? Oh, uh, well, you know, I'm just chilling here in my underwear, just like you. I don't know what I'm doing. It's fine. Anyway, guys and gals, the game will eventually go to a free-to-play mode, but right now there's also premium store things. You can actually support the developer by getting a Founders Pack, and there's several different modes and ways of doing that. I'll have all that information down below in the description of the video, at least the links to get you to the places you need to go if you want to hop in and play immediately. 
It's a closed beta right now. I'm not sure how long it's going to run for, but we're basically playtesting a game for the developers, letting us get in here and, well, showcase it as well, which is fantastic. There's also going to be a gold market and stuff. As you know, any game that's free to play, they have to have some way that they can make some money, so this is going to be the way to do it. If all games were free to play and there was never any kind of currency exchange at all, it would get pretty... Well, it would be bad for the developers, let's just say. Like Dota 2, you guys know I'm a big fan of Dota 2. They do a very, very good job at providing enough stuff for real money that they are doing perfectly fine with the game. They're not broke, and they're making millions off of that game every year. So they do a very good job, and yet you can still play the game without any problems whatsoever by not you know, purchasing anything from them. So... It's really what you want to do, and most people that get into games like Dota 2, or I'm assuming that's going to get into games like Albion Online, they're going to be a big part of the community, they're really going to love the game, develop, you know, the developers of the game, and they're going to want to spend the money to support the developers and everything else. So again, I'm just stating stuff that's out there, you guys already know all this stuff, and I think that's totally fine, and I, I usually, I'll spend a little bit here and there, I don't usually go like full crazy mode and buy like 700 different characters or anything like that or a bunch of different equipment, but it's an option guys, it really depends on how you want to play. So again, I don't know exactly what I'm doing just yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. So that's apparently your inventory, we can actually find a guild if we wanted to, and we can place a building if we were in our little island of awesome. So there are islands that you can get, player controlled islands where you can invite people to come join you at your islands. Otherwise, they're just yours and nobody can ever do anything about it. So there is that, ladies and gentlemen. There is that. So how do we get started? What are we supposed to be doing? Should we be running around doing stuff? Nobody knows, but the Destiny Board. Very, very intimidating looking thing. But this game is all about decision-making choices and playing the way you want to. This has a classless system. So basically, based off of what type of armor you have, and what you're wearing, what weapons you're using, is how you play and how things work, skills you get, and all that is based off of, well, your equipment and what you're wearing and what you're using. So, yeah, this game is definitely open to tons and tons of interpretation and how you would like to play. I have no idea where to start right now, so I'm going to have to look around a little bit more in depth here to figure out what's going on. Alright, this is the Journeyman Mage's Equipment. And we're going to have to start somewhere. Alright, Master... Hmm. I... We have 300 experience points, it seems. Learning points are used to speed up unlocking of abilities on Destiny Board. Additional learning points are generated over time while the premium account is active for your character. So there you have it. Alright, so this is where we start off at. So we're here, and... Our fame bonuses could be plus 10 if we get this. We unlocked it or we're able to do it. Cost to unlock, learn. I guess maybe we already have it. You must build, you must craft one beginner's pickaxe. So this is where we're at right now. And I guess we need to get out and start gathering some rough logs. Um, not sure. Beginner wood gatherer. Okay. Oh, so we start there, and then we get to head all the way into this. So is that how this plays out? It starts us at the bottom here, and then, yeah, it looks like that might actually be the play. So we're going to have to go and gather up some wood, and we're going to get started on doing that right now. I gathered up a couple rough logs there. That's pretty decent. So this is all about gathering, exploring, crafting, and fighting. So there we go. Yay, we're a beginner wood gatherer. Woohoo! All right, I want to I want to point out something to you guys. So this game is it's PVE, it's PVP, and there's a bunch of stuff that you can do in this game. So if you want to take a look real quick, we can open up our map. I'm pretty sure we can back out further than this. I maybe we can't. Maybe we can't. Is there? You have to forgive me, guys. I'm not sure how this works yet. Like I said, I haven't actually played this at all. I wanted to be kind of go through the first experience with you guys so you can actually see. The character creation and everything there is to know and unfortunately I'm not seeing a way to back out of this right now but that's probably because well we're, we're in a starting area and maybe that doesn't actually change until later down the road opens a map of the area. Oh, here we go here's the global map there we go that's what we're, that's what I was looking for all right so if we take a look down here you'll see there's a bunch of areas down here that are all green 
those are kind of the starting areas. Those are the first areas that you can play in. And then it's hard to see on this little tiny map down here, but then there are areas that are actually yellow. When you move into yellow areas, they are PvP light areas. So there's eight tiers, if I'm not wrong, eight tiers of gear that you can get and resources that you can gather to craft that gear. So in the green areas, you can get stuff from one to tier, from tier one to tier four. In the yellow areas, you can get stuff that's tier three to tier five or something like along those lines with a little bit of tier six. And then the red areas, you can get tier five or it's tier four to tier seven or tier six normally with a little bit of tier seven and then tier seven and eight is in the black areas, which are places like this. And this is going to be PvP heavy. The creatures are, of course, going to scale from the green all the way up to the black. So you won't be able to just go around and kill stuff easily that way. So that's that's pretty much how this works. And that's how the mapping system works out. So you have to be careful where you're in different places. In the green area where you, quote-unquote, die, all you do is get knocked down. You lose some durability, but then you get back up and you're able to continue to fight and do everything else. In the yellow areas, the same thing happens, except PvP is allowed. And when you get knocked down in PvP same thing you can get beat up get knocked down you lose some stuff uh some durability you get back up but you keep all your stuff when you go into the red areas then you drop all your items upon death and the same thing in the black areas the only difference between the red and the black is the red area i don't want to say this wrong maybe the red area is fine maybe the red area is fine i apologize guys i'll have to read up again maybe in the next first look video i do i'll have a little bit better explanation I think the yellow area, you have an advantage. There's a, a player versus player buff, and if you're not flagged for player versus player, then you get a buff. I believe in the red area that goes away, or perhaps in the red area that is there. I'm not sure what the black area, why it was so much worse. I don't recall. I'm sure there was something that added a horrible, horrible, awful thing to it. Anyway, let's continue on, guys. So we've done that. Well, now we have to gather a rough stone. So let's continue on our little adventure here. It does not appear that we can run or sprint in any way. I would like to be able to see me be able to move the camera a little bit if I could, but apparently that's not a thing. However, there is stone here that I can gather. So we're going to gather a bunch of stone. We are now a beginner stone gatherer. We must craft one beginner skin, beginning skinner's knife or something along those lines. Or beginner's skinning knife. So we're going to go over here to the anvil. We can craft a broadsword, a beginner's shield, which I would like to craft. But we're going to need a lot more stuff for that. So I may go back and gather up some more goodies, guys. Now, again, this is going to be a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's going to be a bit rough to figure out. So you'll have to forgive me. All right, we're going to go to tools, beginner's axe. All right, so I'm going to go back and actually craft a bunch of other stuff. I also need to kill a rabbit. I saw one back this way somewhere, but I'm going to gather up some more wood. I think I'm going to need a bunch of this stuff, so that's going to be the play. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to craft ourselves a full set of tools and we'll be able to utilize those and be super happy with how things are. Oh, there is a rabbit down there. Let's go kill that rabbit. Let's do bunny murder! Because that's how we roll, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, bunny murder. That is the play. And there are special bonuses you get having a Founder's Pack, like uh, there's a mount and an ox, I guess, that you can carry with you. But the problem that you have to remember, or the thing you need to keep in mind, is you can get killed in the PvP areas. Yeah, beginner hunter! Gather eight rabbit hide. Alright, so I have got my first bit of rabbit hide. And apparently, oh, I can get three off of the rabbit, very nice. We can zoom in a little bit more or zoom out, depending on how you want to be, how far back you want to be, that is. We will gather up many rabbit hides. The target is dead. I am aware that the target is dead. I would like to skin the flesh. Well, technically the hide. Eh, I suppose part of the hide is flesh. Alright, so there we go. I must craft one medium beginner's leather armor. That does sound a bit scary, I'm not going to lie. But once again, we're going to go over here and gather up all this stuff. I hope that I can get a few people that actually want to play this, or that do play this, that want to join me, and we can form our own little guild. If you guys end up uh, enjoying this and you like what you see, maybe this can be one of the community days. We can do some stuff in Albion Online when it releases to everyone. And you guys can all join the Freak Show Guild. 
which I should probably make at some point so nobody steals that wonderful idea of mine. Eh, if they do, so be it. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is what it is. I'm going to gather up a whole bunch of stuff. Because gathering wood is a great, great thing. So, yeah. Pretty cool game so far. I like it. Some people are going to be like, oh, I don't like the graphics. Well, you know what? That's okay. A lot of people don't like a lot of graphics in a lot of games. Some people hate pixelated graphics. Some people love pixelated graphics. Eh. It is what it is, guys. The game, If the game is fun, I don't care if it looks the most amazingly pretty or not. And again, this is still a beta. I don't know if the graphics plan to change at all. I think they work perfectly fine for the type of game this is and what they're trying to do with it. So I have no problem with it. I think it looks actually pretty darn good. And it's smooth. It runs really well right now on my computer. I have no complaints so far. I'm enjoying my little bit of time. I suppose I could complain a little bit about maybe... Maybe some background music would be nice. I don't really hear any of that. I don't know if there's... doesn't seem like there's an options menu. Maybe this is it? Nope. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. That would be nice to see. Let's place a building. Yeah, I don't seem to have any option menu. Also don't know how I can leave or come back to the game. What is this? I don't know what a lot of this stuff does yet, guys, yeah, so please bear that in mind. We're in Middle Beach. We have the world map. I kind of wish I had, um, like I said, I wish there was a little bit more, like hitting escape doesn't seem to do anything. The gold market, buy, sell, orders, our inventory, our guild. I could create a guild, but I don't have 5,000 silver. I am a poor man right now. It is what I am. All right, well, we're going to come back up this way. And I imagine there's going to be stuff that shows up. Again, I'm not sure how we leave this area or how we even leave the game. But I'm not ready to do that just yet, so don't you worry, folks. Don't you worry. I would like to craft a beginner set of of equipment here. Get like a sword and a shield and just like kind of hang out and chill and be like, yeah, I got me some stuff. But apparently that's not really in the cards right now. They are telling me no, sir. Because I don't like walking around with a skinny knife. But let's go with the tool set here. Uh, let's get the beginning stone hammer. Does it tell us how much, how expensive each of these things are? It doesn't seem to say. We can craft that. Ooh, it was excellent quality because I'm a boss like that. We can craft this. Um, beginner pickaxe. Probably craft that as well. And the beginner axe. Looks like we can craft. I don't know if we've used any of our actual skills or anything yet. Also don't know, I assume we probably, oh, did I craft two pickaxes? I was supposed to craft a stone hammer. That one seems to have, oops, that one seems to have more quality than another one. So I did not craft the stone hammer. Shame on me. Look at me, see? Ah, see, I've already wasted stuff. Alright, we're going to go there and grab up all that. We're going to come back here and craft ourselves our stone hammer that we do not have. And then we're going to try it out and see... Alright, I'll put the stone hammer on my bar here and see if it's any quicker. It doesn't seem to be. I'm not sure what the stone hammer does, but, well, I have it. So, there is that. So, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Just gathering around. So, it kind of gives you a survival feel. You know, you have to gather and, and forge for resources. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the uh, survivor hammer or the stone hammer is supposed to really do, but let's go into armor. We need to make a medium beginner's leather armor. We will craft that. You haven't defined all spell slots. Please choose one spell for every slot. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, really? What is this? Ooh, increase move speed, uh, increase tenacity, or 20% increase CC duration. I want move speed. I'm all about the running. And this one is mend wounds. All right, we're going to craft that up. And bam! Beginner armor is there. I need to craft a beginner broadsword. And it looks like I can do so. And there it is. I've equipped it. And beginner's pickaxe. I've already done that. Apparently I shouldn't have done that. I should do that later. Do I really want to destroy it? Yeah, I do. I want to destroy all these things. Why? Because I can. And because it feels sweet, sweet, nice. Alright, we're going to come back here and craft that up. 
All right, and now we have all these wonderful things that we can do. All right, so gain 9,000 fame in any way. Uh, gather two, uh, some tier 2 resources worth 2,400 fame. And trainee fighter. We have to kill s creatures worth 750 fame. All right, I would like to craft a shield before I head off. So I shall do that as well. There we go. And can I craft a helmet? It looks like I can. And I don't know about my move speed. Um, yeah, you know what? I like being fast. We'll go with that. Now, what is this? What does this one do for me? It's unstoppable. It makes me immune to crowd control effects by five seconds. Huh. Free cost, uh, cast range. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so we have the hat, and can we get ourselves some boots, too? It looks like we can craft all of this. All right, now what is this? Increases your move speed. All right, so that's a sprint. All right, and, ooh, we got some other stuff. What is this? Ooh, increase our maximum carrying load. That sounds sexy. Let's grab that up. All right, so there we go. We are decked out in full leather gear. I don't know how we use any of the skills that we have. Oh, there we go. R, D, and F, and Q. What does Q do? Deal physical damage. Energy cost is two. All right, well, there's a rabbit there that I want to murder. Okay, it looks like we pull out our skinny knife no matter what, so we don't have to worry about that. And we pull out our stone. Okay, good, so we don't have to equip our actual tools. I'm a big fan of that. And I imagine you probably need the tools to get any of the Tier 2 equipment, so... Something to think about, folks. We're going to get in a little bit closer here. I'm having a hard time finding these guys. I will say that the quest log seems to be kind of in a weird spot. I, I'm not sure I'm a super huge fan of that. And I feel like some of the stuff is maybe a little bit too large. Having some adjustments to the UI down the road might be a nice play. I mean, I'm not really complaining too much. I'm just saying, like, down the road, these are some things that maybe we can address. So you think about it. If you go back to the days of games like, what, World of Warcraft, when you had the very stock standard UI, a lot of people immediately downloaded mods and things that just changed that because they hated it. I personally was okay with it, but... A lot of people despised it, and they're like, no. And once I did UI scaling, I was really happy. That made me super happy. Because that was that enabled me to actually be able to change stuff. Oh, cool. So you do pull out your weapon any time and every time. Well, so far I haven't gained any fame. I haven't gathered any Tier 2 resources. And it looks like I need to go to the next area in order to do this stuff. So we're going to chop down another couple trees just to make sure that we have a decent amount of stuff. We have some leather available. And we be on our way. Um, let's see. We can cast F to run. Like a boss. And here we are. We are outside of middle camp, it looks like. And there seems to be several different things we can do inside here. So let's go see if we can't get into a fight of some sort. Get into doing stuff. As you see, tons of people have already started, guys and gals. They are looking quite fly with all their special equipment and stuff. There's supposed to be a mailbox around here somewhere, and I'm assuming it's... I have no idea. Most people generally stand on top of the mailbox. This is the bank. And we can get our founder's equipment from that. I have no idea where the mailbox is. Uh, let's open the map and see if I can't see a little bit better. Okay, so there's... A Saddler, Tier 3, Tier 1 Workbench... Missing icon. Well, guys, it's still in closed beta, so don't worry too much about it. Small marketplace. I don't see the mailbox. But that's okay. That is okay. There seems to be a bunch of stuff over here. And there's rabbit hide that we can buy and or sell, or people can buy and or sell. Well, let's just get out of here and go see what we can see and what we can do. I'm pretty excited to see how we can actually murder some stuff here. And it looks like this is a way out. It's fish fish flake? Sure. Hopefully there's some murder death killing that we can do out here. We can maybe gather up some resources and just get some stuff handled. What is this? The resources are depleted. These are still rough logs. These are not what we're looking for. So there's going to be a lot of exploration, a lot of things that, you know, you're going to have to figure out as you go through. 
but it shouldn't be too bad. I think the scaling of the game is probably going to be pretty nice. From everything I've read, they seem to they seem to have addressed things rather nicely. They have a pretty good idea of what they wanted to do and what they wanted to have handled. So I'm I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. All right, let's take a look. I'm kind of ignoring chat guys for now. All right, we're up against a fox of sorts. And we are doing battle, and he's actually beating the tar out of us a little bit there, but we managed to defeat him. Grab ourselves some fox hide. We got 4 out of 15. And wow, we actually got all of that. Nice. Alright, we're going to continue chopping down some trees here, maybe. These are still rough logs to us. It's all good. We're going to run on down this way. Alright, let's take a peek. I don't see much of anything out here, unfortunately, yet. Again, guys, if you like what you see and you want to see more of this, I am going to be streaming it tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. That will be on Tuesday. I don't actually know what the date is. That's a little bit sad. I think it's going to be Tuesday the 24th at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you guys, again, like what you see, you want to see more, you want to see how I continue on, I will be streaming it. My first look video isn't going to be co coherent from beginning to end. What do I mean by that? I Well, I basically mean it's not going to be me just playing only when I'm doing the first look. I'm going to come back later on. I'm going to do a few of these videos, so don't fret. that You will see more of this. But I'm going to be coming back later on down the road after i played a little bit and when I've streamed and stuff. And it's going to be fun. I think you guys are still going to have a lot of fun with it. You're going to enjoy it. But that's how I'm going to do it. So next time you see an episode of this, I may be level... Well, I don't know if I'll be level 8, but I'll be much further down the Destiny Board tier tree. As you can see here, we've already accomplished quite a few things, and we can start breaking out a little bit more at this point. We can craft various different weapons and equipment, and it's all going to change how we play. So I'm still going to hold off on doing this for a little bit right now, and I'm going to work on getting some of these things finished up. Hopefully the next time you guys see me, I'm also, guys, don't, don't fret. If you're not going to be able to make it to the stream, I am still going to post this up on YouTube after the fact. So the stream will be live, and I'll have people in chat and everything. I'll try to put the chat maybe over here or something. I'll try not to block too many things. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And then I will also post that up hopefully the same day, if not the day after. So maybe on Wednesday it'll be on YouTube. But again, if you want to see more stuff and you want to interact and you want to ask questions and just kind of enjoy the experience with me, feel free to uh, jump online tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern. That is when I'm going to be doing this, guys. So... That's that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to go a little bit further, probably get into another fight or two, and then that's going to be where I stop. I hope to find another fox here in a moment. Ah, there we go. So, so far, it's about what you would expect. I'm going to come over here, and we're going to murder the fox. We're going to utilize our quick cooldown. It's a three-second cooldown. We can spam that out a little bit easier, and you just press Q, or you can probably click on it as well. And there we go, and then we can harvest the flesh. The hide. There we go, we got all three fox hide. I think it's improved stuff too from when you have uh, when you have tools as opposed to not having the tools. I killed a rabbit accidentally. It's okay though, the rabbit probably deserved it. Remember, bunny murder is still murder. But it's fun murder, so you should definitely do it. Not in real life though. People probably frown upon you if you like walk up into their little rabbit den and you murder their bunny. Probably not going to be super happy with you. But that's okay. That's okay. So we have total of like nothing it seems we're gathering some uh, resources though we have what 260 is what I'm gonna guess 285 there we go 285 out of the 2400 uh, resources we need to get for that kill creatures worth fame we've got 320 there and then we have to get fame anyway and we're up to 605 Anyway, folks, this is where I'm going to break off the episode. Hopefully you guys had some fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. I will be back streaming tomorrow. I will be back again sometime later this week as well with another First Look video. And if you want any information about the game, where to get it, the Founders Packs, and all that wonderful fun stuff, I'll have all that information down below in the description of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will see you guys again real soon with more Albion Online. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggum. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.